Pashas Vaschanan, right after Shani, Pasik Perak Dalad, Pasik Hey. So the Torah says, "Rei lumati eschem chukim u'mishpatim kashet zivani Hashem alikoy lasis came be care of ours asher atem boim shom ol rishto u'shmartem vasisem." So what's u'shmartem vasisem? So vasisem means you should do it. What's u'shmartem? So Rashi explains u'shmartem zu mishnah. So the question is, what is Mishnah? Mishnah seems to be Mishnah is Mishnayis. Mishnayis seems to be is a text, is a is a is a is a is a is a, is a, is a, is a amount of Torah. What does that have to do with Shmir? Shmir seems to be an action. Seems to be doing something. Seems to be, one should do something. What's Ushmartem? The Mefarshim say Ushmartem is referring to Limud Torah. The Sifsachom says Sheshmir Hu Alimud. Vasi Hu Kimamitzus. And Sh- Mishnah is referring to the Limud. The Shadow says, why does it say Mishnah? It should say, it should say uh, Limud. Why does it say Mishnah? Mishnah seems to be um, some, some kind of an action. Doing Mishnah. What's doing Mishnah? Mishnah's, Mishnah would be, um, Mishnah would be is, is, is learning something. It's not doing something. We find the same thing in Brochus, Tafhe and Aleph. The Gemara is talking about all the things that that Moshe Rabbeinu gave gave Kaisal by Matan Torah. So Dafhei Amud Aleph, the Gemara says, "Ve'en luchas aluchas ha'evan va'Torah va'mitzvah hashak safti lo'iroisim." And the Gemara says, "Luchas elu aser." It's a different story. It's a mikra ve'mitzvah zu Mishnah. Ve'ha'mitzvah zu Mishnah. So Rashi explains, "Zu Mishnah she is asku be Mishnah." That one should engage in the action of 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 you should involve yourself in Mishnah. Seemingly, that one that that Mishnah is not is not a is not a, a is not a series of books of knowledge. It's some some kind of an action. And so, where's Rashi get it from in this Gemara? It's obvious. It says Veha Mitzvah, and the Gemara is explaining Veha Mitzvah means Mishnah. Veha Mitzvah is a, is is an action, just like in our in our in in our pasuk says Ushmatim. It's an action, and still Chazal. Seem to explain that Mishnah is that it's that it's referring to Mishnah. So what does it mean? So Rashi explains she is asku be Mishnah that one should be involved in Mishnah. But again, the question is, what does it mean be involved in Mishnah? What's the what, why is Mishnah an involvement as opposed to a a body of learning, a body of knowledge? What does it mean that Mishnah is some some kind of an action? Again, our our in our pasuk says ushmartem vasisem. Ushmartem is an action which re- refers to Mishnah, Mishnah and not Mikra, Mishnah specifically, and in in the and in the Gemara and Brachas vehamitzvah zu Mishnah sheis asku be Mishnah. So I think to understand that we have to understand a little bit what what Mishnayis is. We're we're um, accustomed to understanding that Mishnayis is some kind of a is 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 just a text. There's Gemara, there's Mishnah, there's Mikra, different levels of text, different so some are some are more specific, some are more general, some are more um some are more elaborate, but it's just different kinds of texts. I think if we if we understand that Mishnah is not that. Mishnah is, was was a method of 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 understanding Torah, of remem- of remembering Torah. Torah was not written in the times of Chazal. And therefore, that whole body of 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 of, um, of Torah, all that knowledge, had to be remembered. So, what was the derech? The derech is Mishnah. Mishnah is a is a is a phenomenal method, which is that that whatever the halacha was, whatever the din was, or series of halachas was, they would codify it in one sentence, in one verse, two verses, three verses. It was codified in a very, very, very concise line. Sometimes not to, not complete sentences. You have in the beginning of Baba Kama a Mishnah that's just a, just a list. Shum Shum Kesef Shav Kesef. It doesn't seem it doesn't seem to be a complete sentence because it wasn't meant to be that. It was just a, a verse, and that verse is Chazer over and over and over. The Gemara tells us about Amoraim and Tanaim that did it. That chazed over all their mishnayos every thirty days. Those mishnayos would be chazed over and repeated and repeated and repeated and repeated. They memorized it and they continued chazering it and they remember it, memorized and memorized it. But that mishnah itself didn't have the knowledge. It had to be decoded, so to speak. It was a code. It was a verse that 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 um that um 
that th- that would remind the, the 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 Talmud or the Rebbe what of of the the, the body of halachas that he had to remember. But that verse itself didn't really have the full meaning, and one had to know how to decode it. And there was different techniques, and that's Talmud. Talmud is taking the Mishnahis and and um, and and and. Um, uh, trying to decipher the words and, um, and 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 taking one Mishnah versus another Mishnah, one Mishnah versus a Brisa, and 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 explaining it. The 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 Reb Chaim Velozhna, the Talmud of the Goyen, explains in the in the, a very famous Hakdom and a fa- very famous preface to the to the to the to the Goyen's Pirish on Sefer Sa- Sefer Safran Sniusa. He explains that Safran Sniusa is to Zoyhar what Mishnah is to Gemara. That that and he explains the, the concept of Mishnayis, that there was all these verses, all these Mishnayis, all these one word one liners and or or a series of liners that that, that Rabbeinu Akadish had from all different kinds of Rabbeinu that came back all the way from Moshe Rabbeinu's time. And he took them all together and he consolidated even those even much more to the point that there was no and the, that and every single Every single halacha that existed till then, every single thing was somehow merum is a letter, a word, of this. But he tried to be as concise as possible, so he couldn't. So he couldn't put in every single thing. But there was, if you would keep on chazering those mishnayos over and over and over, and then and you would know how to decode it, you would know all the halachas. It was. It was a. It was. It, this was a method of 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 of, re, of retaining Torah and giving it over from generation to generation. You could give over this body of of Mishnah, and then the next generations knew how to to decode it. This obviously gives us a much better understanding when we learn Gemara. When we learn Gemara, and you have a you have a you have a of hachi katani, or you have a katani hachi. Right, where the Gemara explains that there's missing words, there's missing this and this word is missing, this is missing, and and you have to read it this way. But we don't change the Mishnahis. What happened there? The Territ says that it was never changing the Mishnah. There was some kind of a question in the Mishnah. Two Mishnahis, um, um, two Mishnahis didn't didn't don't seem to to, to they seem to contradict each other, but it it's not a mistake. It was meant that way. It was put in the Mishnahis to be that way that 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 the Mishnah would say this, and another Mishnah would say that, and a Talmud could understand that this can't be read this way, and a Talmud could understand that it has to be understood this way. That's that's and that that's what Talmud is. Talmud is taking Mishnahis one one from the other and decoding the Mishnahis. But Mishnah is not a body of learning. It's not a specific. It's not a specific text. Mishnah is this method of of understanding and disseminating Torah, where 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 different halachas were put into a verse. They were memorized and given over to the Talmud, and the Talmud knew the tools how to understand and how to decode these Mishnahis. That's why that's why it makes sense when the pasuk says Ushmartem in our parsha. It says Ushmartem, and you should do an action of watching. It's referring to watching the Torah. How do you watch it with an action? Zu Mishnah Zakrashi, and that's what that's what it means in the, in the Gemara when the Gemara says in Brachas when the Gemara says Veha Mitzvah, and you should do something. Zu Mishnah Sheis Asku Mishnah that one should engage in the act of Mishnah. Mishnah is a method; it's not a specific text.